me stocks that are up fourfold in the last five, six years? You know, stocks that just continue to work their way up and also pay a good dividend? I bet you don't. Maybe you got one or two. Uh, one that you may have, because uh, I got to tell you, it's one that I feel like I've been behind since the show started, is Federal Realty Investment Trust. I have always liked the shopping center game. I tried to be in them, used to manage people's money who were in it. I always felt that that was the most consistent, best part of real estate. Now, everyone's worried about real estate. The president's going to be speaking about real estate tomorrow. It's most, that's residential. We've got to find out the truth. Is all real estate bad? Or isn't there some investable real estate? I am so lucky, you are so lucky, to have Don Wood, president and CEO of what I think is the best real estate investment trust in the country, federal real estate. Federal Realty, how are you, Doug? Jim, great to see you again. Thanks All for having right. me on. Thank you. Uh, okay, but first, let's get right to it. Shopping centers. I hear, well, the consumer's strapped. People aren't spending. And then I look at your numbers, and I just think, is there a steadier business in America, domestic business? Well, you know, I don't know. The one thing I can tell you is that all real estate is not created equal. And it's real easy to kind of paint a big, broad brush and say, well, gosh, consumer spending is going to be a problem for, for the shopping center industry. It's not if you're in the best locations in the country, and I think that's what we do really well. Well, I see that you are in, and you should tell our viewers some of it, in crowded areas yeah. where you're the key mall. You're not building in, uh, in Indio, California, where the strip malls are just vacant. It's a nice it, town, Indio. It, no, it we're is. Not Indio. You are, yeah, well, give gives people some idea of what, where your high traffic malls are. There, there is a decision that we made a long time ago. We've been around since 1962, and, and we haven't bought portfolios nationally. Right. We've gone one at a time and handpicked this portfolio over a long period of time in the areas of the country to have the three things we, we need. A lot of people, right. money to spend, and most importantly, barriers to entry so the next guy's not building right next door. Boston to Washington, D.C., Northern California and Southern California, and we pretty much leave the rest of the country alone because those are the markets that hold up best in both good and difficult times. Okay, are you seeing a lot of vacancies in your, in your malls? We're 96% leased. We are not. I can tell you that, the, that the, the, the opinion of what's happening is ahead of the facts right now. Okay. Now, your stock has pulled back. It's got a good yield, but why not make your yield even bigger? What keeps your yield where it is? Well, there's, there's a couple of things. First of all, there is no hedge, uh, in my view, in... in uh, real estate like great locations. Right. That's that's the way that's the way you hedge right. it best. Okay. okay. If you sit and you take a look at where we are, we are about flat, maybe off a percent or two uh, in the in the last year. And I think that's a thousand or eleven hundred basis points better than the Bloomberg Shopping Center Index. Oh, no, no, it is unbelievable. You are the blue chip, which is why I'm going here. There's a lot of guys I could go to who don't have a handle on business. Let me just say, a lot of our viewers, and this is more controversial, and you don't have to even give me a direct answer on it, but a lot of our viewers are, I'll use the term because I did it, stuck in a company called Sears, which is my, run by my friend Eddie Lampert. I usually say I don't have any friends at the top, but you know, I know I do have some friends in business. People say that the value of a, oh, let's use like a Sears department store lease that they may have for long term still maintain some value. What, is it true that even a, a retailer that's not doing that well that has a space in your one of your malls has a lease that's worth something? Oh, sure. Re remember, we're, we're, we're the landlord. We're not the retailer. Right. And so, you know, in a company of, of ours which has about a half a billion dollars of top line rent, 98% um, of that is fixed. Only 2% is percentage rent, which is that which is based on sales performance. So when a good, strong credit uh, or even a mediocre credit it falls back in sales, it doesn't affect our company. Wow. Okay, so I, what, what that would tell me is that a lease in one of your buildings is worth more if you had it at a good price a long time ago than it is right well, worth we more sure, to someone else. We sure, be, we sure believe it is. We, we can tell you that our whole business model is about balance. It's about sustainable, consistent growth good times and in bad times. And while we're outperforming this year, right. we've outperformed the past seven years. Oh, no, no, it's unbelievable. Own. You're the best there is. So I'm thank you so much. Federal Great Realty, tip. this is the one. I do not recommend any real estate investment trust on this show other than FRT. It's been my rule since the show started, and I'm sticking with it. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much. Nice to see you. Okay.